All right, so here I'm going to go over a quick example of uh, using Pro uh, GLM in a SAS CG. Uh, I'll be actually coding this um, in an enterprise guide. So <clears throat> GLM, uh, it's kind of it's kind of similar to uh, Proc Reg, except here we don't have the same assumption. We have to use the same assumptions for the most part that we use for uh, <clears throat> Proc Reg. One of the cool things about GLM is that we're allowed to add in a classification variable, um, which I have in my in my data set. So the data set I'm using is called home cells, and um, it's just a bunch of different attributes as far as homes. Here's my classification variable, home size. It has four levels, uh, small, medium, large, very large. <clears throat> and it also has things like price, uh, square footage, uh, age of the house, stuff like that. So, so I want to actually program something, kind of make a small little model for this. So first thing I want to do is go to file and we will go to new <clears throat> and then program. All right, so I'm going to turn the graphics on. So ODS graphics <clears throat> on. Okay, so now I'm going to call on the procedure that we want to use. So it's it's a GLM, which stands for General uh, Linear Models. So it's PROC GLM. And then I have to <clears throat> uh, specify the data set I'm using. So for this, we do data equals. And for this, I'm just going to type in the, the location of the, uh, the data set I'm using to, uh, to find the actual location. You can just find the data set here on the, on the left-hand side or where it's located on your computer um, if you don't have it open in SASCG. Go to Properties. And right here, the file name has the exact location. So what I can do is just copy and paste this. Copy. OK. <clears throat> So it just goes right up here on the other side of the equal sign, and you're going to put the location in single quotes. And remember to close it with the semicolon. Okay, so now I want to specify a classification variable. Uh, as you recall, a classification variable will be home size. So in order to call or specify a classification variable, I say class. It turns blue, so you know you're doing it right. And then home size. Close that. And then now I specify the model. <clears throat> what do I want to be my dependent variable? For this case, I want to use something extremely simple. So we'll just do the obvious price. So now I want to see how price changes as the home size changes. <clears throat> okay, so price equals, and then our classification variable, home size. Close it and run it. All right, so this is what we get when we use the GLM. See at the top, it specifies the classification variable that we used and how many levels there are. <clears throat> uh, it tells us how many observations read. And then here we have all of our model statistics and even some some really helpful uh, graphics to show us how prices distributed uh, by home size. And so it gives us a, a lot of a useful stuff. Um, if we want to get the difference between PROC GLM and PROC REG is that we won't get by default um, parameter estimates. <clears throat> so without this class variable, uh, PROC GLM will just assume that all variables in the model then, or the independent variables, are continuous. So in which case then it would give us parameter estimates, but we don't, that's not the case right now. So we want to get parameter estimates, so we will just type in solution. Oops, help if I can spell. And this will give all the solutions to the normal equation. All right, so here we go. So here's our, all of our estimates down here. So ProcGLM is a pretty, uh, pretty powerful tool. Um, uh, away from <clears throat> the proc reg procedure, um, but yeah, just a very quick overview. Just uh, use proc proc GLM to kind of do a little model. We used a classification variable, which was a uh, home size. Then we modeled price off of our classification variable, 
and we wanted to get some parameter estimates so we just found the solutions to all the normal equations <clears throat> and it's just a simple simple little example but if you're working with much larger data sets you can have you know a endless string of variables that you could put in here with your uh, with your model <clears throat>